Hi, my name is Belinda and welcome to Belinda's Baubles. This is the yarn crawl day one. All right, let's get moving. I apologize for the sound. It's not great, I know, but my um, new microphone didn't work with the computer. All yarn crawls start with a drive. This one for me today was about an hour each way. Look at all those wildflowers though I was able to see after I got out of the city and got towards Waxahachie. A uh, little bit of note here, if you would like to enter to win a North Texas Yarn Crawl project bag for 2023, I am doing a giveaway on my episode one on Belinda's Bobbles YouTube channel. Uh, go over to that episode one and comment on the bottom uh, yarn crawl and like and subscribe so that you'll have a chance to enter. Here we have the Waxahachie downtown historic area which is where the one shop that I was able to go to today is located called U2 Yarn. That's E-W-E, the number two, Yarn. This is a mother and daughter, Trudy and Lee. Uh, they do hand-painted, nature-inspired yarns. They're located in the farmhouse shop, which also has artisan items and other um, antiques and things. It's a great place to look around. I can always find something there, and there's lots to do in Waxahachie itself which makes for just a great day trip. There's not any other local yarn shops close by, but there's plenty of other things to see. Right here on your front wall is going to be all of the commercial yarns on the left there. They have a great selection of books. And that I was lucky enough that they were doing a um, late night get together, which was their yarn crawl kickoff party for Saturday night. I love this respun. It's a recycled yarn. It feels kind of rough, a remix, um, whenever you touch it, but it really does wash up beautifully. I made a sweater with for my grandson out of it and it just turned out so soft. I was so surprised. Looking at these buttons, I'm kicking myself because I meant to go over there and get a few for myself and I forgot them. They're just such beautiful detail pieces including cow horn buttons. Where else would you find those except Texas? Continuing on further into the shop, is my favorite spot under the stairs. This is their little sale area uh, and it's just got some great deals in there. I'm sorry but if you see that Siri um, yarn there at the top, it's gone. It came home with me. I'll show that to you at the end of the yarn crawl whenever I go over all of my goodies that I got. Okay, so you just find all sorts of different things underneath in here where they have the 25% off or I think it's um, their own uh, you to yarn is um, for um, $20. That was a yarn crawl bag from last year. I'm really glad they've gone over to a project bag. It's a zippered bag for this year. I think I'll use that a whole lot more. Further into the shop here, you're going to have some bags and then you start getting into their own um, yarn that they dye themselves. Something that Uta Yarn is known for is multiple skeins that are all set for blending, all swirled together. And that's a five colors, that's five skeins there. Uh, a lot of theirs are um, mini skeins, that looked like it was a full skein. They also, uh, Trudy does her own uh, patterns. 
and makes her own pattern. This is one of her new ones that is ready to come out shortly. And I really loved all that detail work. Part of what they were having today was also the Hand Spun Hope Trunk Show, which you'll show those in a few minutes. All of this is the Utah Yarns own hand-painted, nature-inspired yarns. I love all that detail and that color work. And they had some really unique items. Here's the um, needles and the notions. And just past that, you see all of the black really notice all of the different shades. I have not seen this yarn before and it really got my attention. And this is some U.S. grown wool mixed in there with some of their own. But here I'm going to show you a little deeper. Here we go. Night shades. Isn't that cool? American Cormo and it is, uh, let's see here, grown in Montana. But look at all the different shades there from the natural wool colors. These are some more of their mixes. It's going to have five minis in there. They're swirls, that color set. Going down into the individuals for their own yarn they also do shows so if you go to their website you can see where a show might be maybe they'll be near you this really intrigued me as far as it's unspun and um, it's blended together but you knit it just like this it's easy to pull apart until it's knit it has a really unique texture but um, I'm a little worried about working with it myself, but I've seen it on other YouTubers um, working with it, and it looks so cool and unique. All right, so going into some of the other areas, into the cottons, and uh, this here is some organic Texas cotton, which is great for making uh, face claws. And just into all the different things. There's so much to see here. All their little toft goodies. And this here is the um, trunk show. Which is the hand spun hope trunk show. This is spun I believe by women in Rwanda. I may be wrong on which country, but it, um, it was an African country. Gives you a little bit of an idea. There's a whole large area of the shop that I didn't even show. Then coming back here, this is their other area, is their Hope Artisan Collective trunk show. And I know these skirts are made by women in Rwanda, so the money will go back to them. And they're cotton with big pockets, so comfortable, and one of them may have come home in my car with me. Part of the Hope Artisan Collective is all these different artists, and it's just amazing detail work. And they bring the items over here to sell, and then the money goes back. Uh, that one was for a bush people. I cannot see um, that, but then there's more here of the hand spun hope yarn. It was so beautiful, the workmanship that is part of this. All right, well, that's about it for me today. I have four or five shops I'll be hitting tomorrow. Come back and see. Thanks for watching.